Alright, hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new news in Pokemon Go, mainly. Uh, we'll do a separate Cresselio video, but today we're talking about celebrate a year's worth of community days in December. So if you missed any of the community days before now, from January through November, we got you in December. So for from November 30th, which is a Friday, through Sunday, December 2nd, there will be increased spawns of Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Eevee, Dratini, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Marie, Lavatar, Beldum. All of them will be in the wild. And then not only that, their shiny forms, of course, are out there. And for the community day window, your typical community day window time, uh, there will be three bonuses during the three hours. Those three bonuses will be Double Catch, Double Catch Stardust XP, Double Catch XP, Double Catch Stardust, and Double Incubator Speed. So the half egg distance or quarter if you put into it, Super Incubator. So very cool. Uh, during the whole weekend also, not only will all those Pokemon be appearing more frequently in the wild, the special moves for each of those Pokemon, such as Smackdown Stone Smackdown on Tyranitar, um, Meteor Mash on Beldum, uh, Dragon Pulse for Mareep, all those will be available during the entire weekend. So if you caught better ones since then, if you forgot to evolve one uh, during that time because of the window and how there was only three hours for most of the events to not only catch but also evolve and you missed one, we got you for a whole weekend. You can go hunt, you can catch up, all that will be here. Now, the things we don't know are things like, will there be extra, like, will the Community Day Shiny Odds be during the entire weekend or just during the three hour event on December 1st? So, that's right, it's not on December 2nd, it is on December 1st, which is a Saturday. Um, so, honestly, very excited, personally, uh, about this. Wait, is, is Asia actually not the first one this time? So normally Asia gets its first, gets the first crack at uh, Community Day. Today, this time they're not. They're actually getting theirs December 2nd, which is interesting. Maybe to uh, put less strain on the servers, or just because generally for some reason it the first community day, like, first wave, generally gets messed up, generally it's in Asia. So, this time we're starting out actually in Europe for once. Uh, it seems like it's still a typical time, so. So, very cool. Uh, the event starts off at November 30th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so over here, 4 o'clock, uh, over on the East Coast. So, November 30th, 4 o'clock, this happens for all of us, so get your Pokeballs, your Great Balls, your Ultra Balls, get all your Raspberries, your Pineapps, get all that stuff together now, start saving up because there are going to be some good Pokemon out there, whether you're looking for Eevee, some shiny Eevees, that's high up on my list, um, actually, let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's go through some of the uh, shiny Pokemon. Let's go through way back, way back. Let's let's go back to the very first one, Surf Chew. So Pikachu was Surf. I was only ever able to get one of these during the entire event. I got one. So getting another Surf Chew, not high on my priorities, but it'd be kind of cool. Now Dratini's, uh, very cool. That means I don't have to trade away this one. Michael can find one for himself. We can save Stardust. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we'll have some other very cool ones. Honestly, Draco Meteor, not great. Uh, does a ton of damage, but not my favorite one. Uh, so, maybe not Evolve one, but Shiny Dratini, Shiny Dragonair are very cool. Very cool Shinies. And then, of course, uh, this green Dragonite is... Uh, Interesting, interesting color choice there. Bulbasaur, which I did really good on. 
I think I actually traded away one Bulbasaur. Um, Mareep, I traded one to John. Uh, so I'm looking for at least one more Mareep to take it back. Now this is one that I found full odds of Bulbasaur. Full odds Bulbasaur that I could evolve to get Frenzy Plant because it's actually not that bad. It's turned CP go. Uh, I still have a ton of Charmanders. Uh, so not really looking for one necessarily. But be cool. Especially with the CP rework. Uh, shiny Charizard or Charizard in general is actually better in the metagame. Lavatar. I could use myself in a Smackdown uh, T-Tar actually because I didn't evolve that many. So I could evolve one. Squirtle I did pretty good. Um, not looking for another one of those. Let's see. What was the next one? Oh, Eevee. I need a new shiny... I need a new shiny uh, Eevee because of this. Chikorita. I wouldn't mind getting another crack at Chikorita. I did pretty bad that day. Not, uh, you know, I was able to get one of each form, but, uh, oh hey, with the CP we work, one of my 10 CP ones turned into an 11 CP. Thank you, Niantic. Uh, Metagross. Beldum was actually really good, uh, did fairly good, that was actually, I think this is actually the first day that, uh, they implemented the extra hour to evolve was on Chikorita Day, but, uh, did pretty well on Beldum Day, not complaining about that one, Cynical, the most recent one, I did well, so, very cool, very cool, wouldn't mind getting myself another of any of those shinies, uh, to be honest, there's not one in that whole book that I'd be like, oh, no, nah, I don't want that. No. Nah. And then, like, what I'm saying is, like, Lavatar, right? I got this 98% Lavatar, and I have this 96% Lucky Lavatar. Both of these I can evolve during that time period and get smacked down on them. So, very, very, very cool. But not only that, happy Thanksgiving. It is currently Thanksgiving Day. I'm actually going to work in like half an hour so this video may not actually come out until later tonight but I'm extremely excited for today thank you so much I really am very thankful for this whole opportunity um, this whole YouTube thing has been crazy and I'm very thankful to all of you who watch the channel who support the channel thank you so much and as a part of that um, I woke up early this morning to do this video, and I was gonna go to uh, the Go Hub to just make sure that everything was good, that I did all my research, which I did, but it, we got this surprise 0.129.1 is rolling out, so we're gonna do the data mine for that. We have a few things added. So we got a Power Punch, a new fighting type move, which is uh, available to Lucario via leveling in the main series games. Uh, that has been added, so possibly a uh, Lucario day? Could be interesting. So, Lucario, nice. A winter event has been noted. Now, this November event, typically there's like things that, uh, like typically when we get events, it's a uh, Pokemon with a hat or something like that. Uh, this, like a costume event. But during this November, uh, for the November 2018 event, it was actually special research. So maybe during this winter event, it'll be special research. Or it could be something like last year um, where we had Delibird and Santa Pikachu. So probably Santa Pikachu is coming back around for December. Uh, winter of 2018, maybe a uh, actual, like a second community day, like an actual one where there's like a new Pokemon released, could be interesting. Now, Burmy has had some changes to its references in the APK, so some 
fix-ups. There's Burmy Plant, Burmy Sandy, Burmy Trash all in there specifically. So we could have Burmy be released in, during the next wave, and it's three different forms. Each of those forms then has an evolution, plus it has a gender-specific evolution uh, as well. So personally, excited for Burmy because that's a lot of Pokemon to be caught. Also, geofencing has been added. So geofencing, by definition, uh, is the use of GPS or RFID technology to create a virtual geographic boundary enabling software to trigger a response when a mobile device enters or leaves a particular area. Now, in here, they then go through this, um, go through the different things, and they're like, eh, we don't know what it could be. Maybe it's for event attendance, uh, and then they're like, oh, we hope not. Um, but, personally, I'm thinking this could be PvP. You turn on a fence, a geofence, right? This is strictly hypothetical. Uh, you turn on a fence on your phone, right? So you're like, I want a battle. And there's just this ping, right, that goes out. And any trainer that enters that area could then see that and be like, okay, where's this dude at? Let me battle too. And like, you get pinged both places to a gym, or you put this ping on a gym specifically. Maybe you can only do PvP at a gym. Because remember, Niantic did say they wanted to push out PvP. This could be how they do it, via geofencing. You put this geofence around a gym, and then uh, you wait like in a separate lobby, kind of like a raid lobby, but a PvP lobby, right? You go into a gym, you press like a create geofence, or whatever it's going to be called. And it puts out this like ping, sort of like a lure, where you can see it all across the map, but maybe it's like a special kind of cool battle lure, like... Uh, around a gym. I don't know. Instead of pedals, maybe it's like thunder clouds or some cool thing like that. Um, and anyone can travel to that gym and do like a battle for it. Like a PvP battle. Maybe this is how they introduce that. Other notable changes are official patchwork notes uh, such as Facebook friends will be coming in. Uh, they've added help shift library which helps improve customer support and communications as a lot of bug fixes and uh, here are some new screens so this is here uh, this is a tweet from Pokemon Go Hub uh, you can see basically you can sort better I guess I mean it's okay I'm not exactly sure it's long awaited, but it's cool. Not gonna not gonna complain about it. Anyway, that is GoHub Data Mine. Link in the description below. Very cool, very exciting. And uh, again, it is Thanksgiving, so thank you very much. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, if you want, let me know what you're thankful for. Honestly, this has just been such an amazing year, and I'm really really am thankful for all of you for the continued support um, for the OGs who have been around from the beginning of the channel to people who just subscribed like yesterday um, thank you so much uh, thank you for the continued support and um, I'm not going anywhere I'm gonna be around for a while so thank you again happy Thanksgiving if you did like this episode go ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the series please subscribe and as always God bless and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, by the way, um, beyond everything else, we also got storage increased up to 2,000, which is amazing. It's been long awaited. Thank you, Niantic. Especially with, you know, a bunch of new shinies coming, or old shinies coming back, we're going to want that storage increase. Thank you very much. And also Gen 4, of course. So, very cool. Actually, the end of the episode. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.